Hello everyone here. I welcome you all to Edureka's yet another tech enthusiastic video and today we'll be discussing about Java in 2020. Firstly, let's have a quick peek on the agenda for today's discussion. The first in the docket is why people hate Java. Followed by that who uses Java and why exactly they use it and followed by that we have the Java developers salary in 2020 then the important skills to be learned in 2020. Now subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us on trending technologies. Also if you're looking for an online training certification in Java then please check out the link in the description box below. So before we actually begin I just want to give you guys a little brief about Java and why exactly people hate it. Now I would like to ask you guys to imagine a jet fighter plane. Hope you guys have a picture of it in your mind. Now let's reveal it. I bet you guys did not imagine this old model which is used in World War type of plane which appears to be this Hawker Hurricane, right? You would have imagined something big, fast, agile, maneuverable, stealthy and a dominant jet fighter which nobody could have got a chance to fight against and survive. In the same way, Many of the people think Java to be old, but seriously guys Java did not stop in the 90s. It started evolving. Java is a powerful and dominant programming language since its birth. Many of the frameworks like Hadoop, Spark, Scala and all the major big data frameworks use Java. The major operating systems like Android also use Java. So to make things better Java had to upgrade and it did. Java is not like the older fighter plane. It's like the latest stealthiest high maneuverable F-22 Raptor. Now let us discuss some of the major reasons why people hate Java. People hate Java for multiple reasons. As per the recent survey, the most common factors for which people hate Java are enlisted below. First one is verbose. Verbose or in simple terms, people feel it too texty. The implementation of classes and code length make people nauseous, but actually it is not. There are many upgrades in Java to reduce your code length. One of the major updates is the record method. This method can make wonders happen. It is capable to replace your complete class just in one line. After all, classes are just transparent containers that store data and data is just data. It's not meant to be read or visible all the time. We can make use of records and just make things look a little cooler and readable. One such function is also Lombok. This function is capable to compress your hundreds of lines of code into very least number of codes. See that's the magic even Java can do. Java is evolving people. It now understands what exactly you need. It was is and always will be a beautiful language. The next most common reason why people hate Java is they feel it slow and heavy. Come on people, the whole world of Android applications, web pages, big data and what not, everything runs on Java. How could one feel it's heavy and slow? It's just a misconception. Let me give you a simple example of a web application. Guess you all know Spring Boot. In Spring Boot, to create a web application, you can just start your Spring Boot and input your dependencies you need and start. Voila, you have your application's groundwork finished and it is almost ready to deploy. I accept that in the earlier days you had to manually configure everything, but as said earlier, Java has completely evolved. Now it's not like that. You just need to provide your dependencies and your application is ready. Followed by that, the next reason is people say it is slow to write. Writing is actually the programmer who does. And the recent IDs like Eclipse and IntelliJ, they create classes and construct them for the programmer. At this point, I could just say, please know more about your IDs. Now, moving ahead, let us have a look on who uses Java. There are multiple million dollar companies that use Java. Few of the major companies are Airbnb, Uber, Netflix, Spotify, Google, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, we got it. Java is also used for big data analytics. Most of the popular big data frameworks like Spark, Flink, Hive and Hadoop are written in Java. 
it's easier to find a Java developer who's comfortable working with Hadoop and Hive rather than one who is not familiar with Java and the stack. With Java 8 came the lambdas which rectified most of the Java's verbosity thus making it less painful to develop large enterprise or data science projects. On the other hand, Java 9 brings in much missed REPL or read eval print loop that facilitates interactive development. So on the other way, Java is a dominant language in data analytics. So one way or the other, Java is a dominant language in data analytics. Also, Java is capable to work with AI. There are many misconceptions that only R and Python programming languages can be used for data science or artificial intelligence, but it is not true. Even Java is capable to run the algorithms of data science and also execute programs for artificial intelligence. Followed by this, the next major phase where we use Java is designing. Remember design patterns? Yes. Java design patterns are the standards that are used worldwide to create, design, deploy, and maintain hundreds of applications. Followed by this, the database connectivity. JDBC connections are used worldwide. Most of the biggest and bulkiest data transfers are possible just because of JDBC connections. The next in the docket is development. There is no other language that is better than Java that has so many libraries and simplicities when it comes to development part. Followed by that, we use Java because it enables cross-platform. Java was born to be cross-platform. Java was a great hit just because it followed one principle. C-O-R-A or W-O-R-A. Don't worry, it is just compile once and run anywhere or write once and run anywhere. Now, let us move on to our next topic that is about why to use Java, which will explain to us about some major features that make Java more programmer friendly. The first one is open source. Java, since its birth till today, is an open source product. Java is still free. It has open sourced all of its significant commercial features that were previously available only to paying customers, including application class data sharing, Java flight recorder, Java mission control, and Z garbage collector. Oracle builds and OpenJDK builds at this point are functionally interchangeable. This means that you can switch from one to the other as you please. It also means that all of this code is available under the GPL for anyone to build, test, publish, update, and support. You'll also be able to get Java implementations in almost any Linux distributions as well. Followed by that, the next feature is high performance. Java is an interpreted language, so it will never be as fast as a compiled language like C or C++. But Java enables high performance with the use of the just-in-time compiler. Followed by that, the next feature is multi-threading. Java multi-threading features make it possible to write program that can do many tasks simultaneously. The benefit of multi-threading is that it utilizes the same memory and other resources to execute multiple threads at the same time. Like while typing, grammatical errors are checked along. Followed by this, the next feature is security. When it comes to security, Java is always the first choice. With Java secure features, it enables us to develop virus-free, temper-free system. Java program always runs in Java runtime environment, which has almost the null interaction with system OS. Hence, it is more secure. The next feature is platform independency. Unlike the other programming languages such as C, C++, etc., which are compiled into platform-specific machines, Java is guaranteed to be write once, run anywhere language. On compilation, Java program is compiled into bytecode. This bytecode is platform independent and can be run on any machine. Plus, this bytecode format also provides security. Any machine with Java runtime environment can run Java programs. Followed by platform independency, we have portability. The cross-platform feature enables the Java code to be highly portable. Followed by this, we have object-oriented programming style. In Java, everything is an object, which has some data and behavior. Java can be easily extended as it is based on an object model. And the last feature is robust. 
Java makes an effort to eliminate error prone codes by emphasizing mainly on compile time error checking and runtime checking. But the main areas which Java improved were memory management and mishandle exceptions by introducing automatic garbage collector and exception handling. Now let us go through the Java versions. Since from the beginning to today, Java has got many upgrades. The latest version of Java is the JDK 13. Since from the JDK 7 to JDK 13, it was a great journey and many updates have been shown up. Now, let us check what other stats has to say about the demand for Java developers. As per the latest stats according to the Indeed, there is a huge demand for Java developers for both freshers and experienced. And the demand is on top, leaving the other programming languages like Python and C Sharp far behind. Now, let us discuss the salary trends of Java developers in multiple countries. Firstly, let us consider India. The salary trends of a Java developer in India are for freshers or entry level Java developer, the salary trends lie between 4 lakh rupees to 5 lakh rupees per annum. On the other hand, for an experience level Java developer, the salary trends lie between 10 lakhs to 25 lakhs per annum. Now, let us deal with United Kingdom. The salary trends for a Java developer in United Kingdom for an entry level Java developer lie between 25,000 pounds to 30,000 pounds per year. And on the other hand, for an experienced level Java developer, the salary trends lie between 55,000 pounds to 80,000 pounds per annum. Now, let us consider the United States of America. For the United States of America, the salary trends for a Java developer entry level will lie between 55,000 US dollars to 75,000 US dollars. On the other hand, for an experienced level Java developer, United States of America is paying 90,000 US dollars to 125,000 US dollars per annum as the salary. Now that we have understood the salary trends of Java developers, let us consider the skills to be learned in 2020 to become a successful Java developer. There are many skills to be learned in 2020, but let us consider the beginner skills first and later move on to the major experience level skills to be learned. The basic beginner level skills to be learned in 2020 based on Java are he or she should be having a good knowledge of JSP servlets and object oriented programming concepts and design patterns. Abstract classes and interfaces are a must. Followed by that, the programmer at a beginner level should be comfortable with constructors, file input operations, and output operations. And followed by that, he or she should be comfortable with file input output operation and serialization. Collections like list, map, sets, and access specifiers, which will provide the access capability like public, protected, and private. Followed by that, the programmer should be good with exception handling, and finally, the generics. Now, followed by that, the advanced level of skills that an experienced level of programmer should have are DevOps with Java, then microservices, and also Spring Boot. So, these were the skills required by both beginners as well as advanced level programmers in 2020. Now, let us discuss the advantages that the freshers will be getting from Java. The first advantage of Java for freshers is Java is a language which is completely easy to learn. It does not require any basic understanding of programming. You can directly start from scratch. Followed by that, Java is object oriented. This point is really important. If you learn Java, you'll get the understanding of the object oriented style of programming means you can directly switch into any other programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Python, which are also object oriented programming languages. So learning Java will not be a waste. Once you understand the object oriented style of programming, you will feel comfortable to work with any other programming language. Followed by that, Java is completely platform independent. We have discussed this point before, which means once you write a code in Java, you can run this particular program in any of the computer or the operating system, regardless of whatever the operating system you are using on your host system. It can be either a Linux or Windows. Once you write the code, 
you can directly execute it on multiple computers with different operating systems. Apart from this, Edureka offers Java, J2EE and SOA certification training. Edureka is the segment leader in providing the best in class live instructor led training on Java technology and it is provided by industry level experts with years of real time experience in the technology. The salient features of Edureka Java training are instructor led sessions. So in instructor led sessions, you will be having about 42 hours of online live instructor led classes and followed by that you will be dealing with real life case studies which will have a live project based on any of the selected use cases. So followed by real life case studies, you will be having assignments after each and every class where you'll get a chance to apply the concepts learned. Followed by that, you will be having a lifetime access to the learning management system. And also, you have 24 seven expert support if you have any doubts after the class. Once after you complete your course, Edureka certifies you as an SOA Java developer based on the project reviewed by your expert panel and this particular certificate has been recognized by many multinational companies. Now with this we come to an end of this particular session. I hope you had a sound briefing of Java in the year 2020. If you have any queries regarding this session then please feel free to write them down in the comment section below and we will respond to you as soon as possible. Till then thank you and wish you all a happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!